You know, if you want something a bit more natural, you should try a prairie oyster. It's all you need. I know what a prairie oyster is, thank you very much, and there's no way I'm going near a raw egg. I feel very rough. Well, you live by the sword, you reap the whirlwind. Or, to be more accurate, you down copious amounts of alcohol. Back off. Told you. Had my reasons. Yeah. You're gonna be OK. I'm not gonna be sick in the kitchen, if that's what you mean. I didn't. I was being emotionally supportive, but thanks for the image. Victoria, you got a sec? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, have you seen Rona? I was just wondering if she'd... If she'd fixed the honeymoon situation. Fixed? You haven't heard? No, what happened? Well, there was a mix-up over the dates, apparently. Oh, no. Um, look, I'm on call-outs all morning, but if you speak to him, let me know, yeah? Will do, you. Yeah. I, um... I saw Adam yesterday. Was he OK? He was pretty upset. And? Vanessa, what did he say? Look, the thing is... I just I... wish I could make things right. I can't lose him. Yeah. Then maybe you should talk. I, um... I hope it works out. So, uh, did you hear anything from Rona about the honeymoon? Oh, not so much. Might pop over later. Mm, say hi, will you? Pint, please, little chef. We talked it out. Yeah, yeah, I gathered. But thank you for being the shoulder he cried on. Anytime. Vanessa. <sighs> do we really have to do this now? I just need to know you're not going to tell Vic. Adam. Please. All right, just for my own peace of mind. I'm not going to say anything to Victoria, all right? I promise. I promise. She won't hear anything from me. There's your change and your food won't be long. So, can I move my stuff back in after work, then? Hello, Vic. What? I want to move my stuff back in after work. Is that all right? I don't know. Don't tell Victoria what. Sorry? Oi, you, a word. I need to be somewhere. No, no, never mind that. I want to know what's been going on. I'm not with you. I overheard by the loos. You asked her to promise not to tell me something and then you agreed. So? Look. We weekend away. What? Yeah, yeah, it was um, <clears throat> supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> you know, I've been talking to Vanessa about us and that, and you know, she said that we could do the breakaway, so I was going to organise it. Really? Of course. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't blame you for getting the wrong end of the stick. Like, it was my screw up. A bit early to be planning romantic getaways, right? No. Oh, babe, it's a lovely idea. And I've gone and ruined it. How oh, yeah. stupid am I? Oh, you've not ruined anything. It was just an idea to tell someone, didn't I? Oh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, Vanessa, sorry if I came across a bit. Oh, forget it. Well, like he said, who blame you? <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this. Maybe I should go around before she leaves. She seemed pretty upset. Maybe you could, you know, do the pretend popping on the off chance that she still might happen to be there, even though really you thought she wouldn't be, or would have done if you hadn't already known. Wow. You like to make things complex, don't you? Oh, come on. I'd be miserable if my new hubby were going to be late to my honeymoon. She's just being a newlywed softie. Anyway, she's already left. Sorry, I drive off earlier. Nothing we can do about it now, then. <laughs>